Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Nice. Nice or not so nice? Nice teacher. Okay, that's good. That sounds like fun. Sounds like if you are happy. Okay, just uh, how many people we have? 11. We're just gonna give them a little bit of time. Just to make sure. Okay, 12, 13, All right, so we have uh, what, 13. I think that we waited enough. And hello, Miriam. How was your weekend? Good? Nice? Uh, very nice, teacher. Okay, good. Okay. I, I feel happy, teacher. Okay. It's good to feel happy on Monday because yes. <laughs> not many people feel happy. Uh... <laughs> You know, I say Monday. Oh my God, Monday. Okay. Ah uh, yes. Yeah, no, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. Hey, Mariela, how about you? How was? How is the heat in San Miguel? Hi. Uh, horrible. Horrible. Yeah, horrible, right? Yes. Imagine. Yes. But I am in Santa Tecla now, oh, so really? it's windy. Yes. Yes, it's windy, but still inside the I mean, outside the house is kind of cool, right? But inside yes. the house, it's hot. You know, it's hot. It's, it's, the temperature is, I mean, completely different, right? And it's windy, yes. and, windy and dusty. Okay, good. And Jerry, how was your weekend, Jerry? It's very good, teacher. Okay, great. So you had fun. How about you, Adrian? Was it good? It's good. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good, good evening, all. Okay. How was how was that weekend, Adrian? Barbecue? No barbecue? No barbecue. Ah, only the sleeping. Okay, but it's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Sleeping is nice. Okay. okay. How about you, Daniel? How was your weekend? Very nice, teacher. Very nice. Okay, what did you what did you do? What what did you do during the weekend? Uh, only 
Ja, sleeping. Ja, okay. sleeping. <laughs> okay, so then, but you know, sleeping, as, as, I, as I said before, I think it is one of the best things that we can do during the weekend because sometimes during the week, it's difficult to, to sleep more than six, seven hours, mm. right? So the weekend is the moment that oof, we can relax. Okay, good. Now let's see, we're going to start with uh, section number. Section number, okay, number, 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 something. Wait a minute. That's what we need to. We have to prepare. In the past tense, so we're going to start today using verbs, you know, like such as the was, where, you not know, to talk about things that uh, happened in the past. And then we can somehow, you know, uh, tell or narrate, okay? Things that happen in one moment, probably more specific in the, in the past. So we have the, this is the if I am not wrong, section number four. Okay, yes, section number four, that's the one that we're going to share with you in this moment. Okay. So by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people pay to do. Okay, before the past. Okay, top eight things people have to do. What is your top eight? Here, let's see. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Questions? For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. This is the top eight. What is, what is your top three of things you hate to do? For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to do, I don't have to clean the house. 
Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do. I hate it. I don't have to clean the meetings. Okay, using those images. Top eight things people hate to do. What are your, what is your top three uh, medium of things you hate to do? Uh, number one that you hate. Uh, forget it. Uh, number three. Number three. Uh, travel to travel work. Travel to work. Okay. Travel to work. What else? Uh, That's number one. Number two. Okay, teacher. Number two, do laundry. Do laundry. Okay, number three. To tra travel to work. No, that's the number one. For you. Uh, no, teacher. No, for oh, Okay. In your opinion, uh, your personal opinion, what is the thing that you uh, the most? Uh, teacher. Your top uh, stand, stand on in line. Ah, okay. for me, teacher. Uh -huh, for you, yes. For me. Yes, for you. Ah, for me. It's, it's, I'm sorry, please. That's no, okay. Uh, for me, it's a uh, work teacher <laughs> in the weekend. Okay, I hate it. Okay. It's uh, yes. work in the, in the week, work on the weekend. Very good. That's number one. Number two? Uh, it, number two. It can be from here or other things. No problem. Like, I, okay. Okay. Work on weekends. Do laundry, teacher. Do laundry. Do laundry. Do? Yes, I hate it too. And number three. And clean, clean the house. Okay, perfect. That is. I hate it too. That's Miriam. I prefer to sleep. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> Miriam's me, top teacher. three. That's Miriam's top three of things she hates to do. Work on weekends. Do the laundry and do the clean. Yes. Good. Uh, yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, who says, yes, excuse me, teacher, somebody, somebody, excuse somebody. me, teacher, mm -hmm. is, is daily routine uh, or action? Uh, it depends, Evelyn, uh, it could be a daily routine, obviously, yes, it's an action or things that we hate to do, but uh, for example, in, how can I tell you, uh, in my case, it's not a daily routine, but I, I hate eat hot food. Okay, in my case, I hate, uh, for example, to you know to to taste hot food. I like you no know, warm, right? Not too cold, not too hot, right? Warm in the middle. Okay, but when it is too too hot, you know, I hate it. You know, like a soup, for example, not sap or not pata soup. Okay, and have very hot, and I don't taste it. It's not a daily routine, but it's an action. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what is something that you really hate to do? You know, for example, I hate to eat hot food. Okay. That's one case in, in my case, right? What else? Uh, Mariela, what about you? What are three things that you hate to do? Your top three. I hate sleep less. I hate? I to eat lettuce. To eat? Sugar. Oh, okay. Come on, lettuce. No. That's good. To eat lettuce. Lettuce, okay. What is the second? I, I hate to go to meetings. Okay, I hate to go to meetings. Um, And wake up early on Sunday. And wake up early on Sunday, yes. You know, I think maybe when I am busy, if I have to work and then they say, okay, we have a meeting, well, I hate it. But if I don't have much to do, if I am, uh, let's say, uh, free in that moment, it's okay. You know, but when sometimes you are very busy, okay, we have a meeting, oh, oh I hate it. Okay, good, Adrian. What are, what is your top three of things you hate to do? Okay, teacher. Uh, I hate to do 
Uh, this washing. <laughs> Give me five. <laughs> okay. I, I, I totally agree with you, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, and, I I have, may... and, I, and I have to do it every day. You know? It's not my wife tells me, oh, okay, you have, to, you have to wash the dishes. Okay, it's okay. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate to do uh, a stand alive. Um, I hate to do clean the house. I hate to paint the house. Okay, I hate to paint the house. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Jerry, what are three things? What is your top three? What are the three things that you hate? Um, I hate travel to work by bus. Okay, yes, it's um, horrible. <laughs> I hate, hate, I hate, como se dice? Hate, I hate to. Hate to. Uh -huh. Get up early on the weekend. Okay. And I hate um, Seven. take a shower when cold. Open the neck. <laughs> Cuando hace frío, no sé cómo when it's cold. When is when it is when cold. It's cold. Yes. Oh, that's the most delicious one. Imagine tomorrow, five o'clock, no, four o'clock, you take a shower in the pillar, right in the sink. <laughs> Outside and it's <laughs> written. No, yes, it's, uh, but it's nice. It's nice. And at the beginning, it's horrible. At the beginning, it's terrible. Uh, you know, after that, you feel you feel warm. You feel hot. It's good. Okay, Evelyn Elizabeth, how about you? What are Mail. what is your top three? This vocabulary by describing, yeah. for example, Wait a minute, just a minute. I have to do laundry every weekend. Okay, just want to show you this. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we used to do laundry because laundry is not a bird. I don't have to do uh, the cleaning. I have to do clean the house. I don't have to clean the house. Okay, if you use a bird, then uh, sometimes they do the laundry, do the bed. I mean, for example, make your bed. Uh, for example, do the dishes. I hate to do the dishes or to wash the dishes. Okay, Evelyn, top three. Okay. It's an egg. Okay, listen. Uh, for example, I I had to do I had I had to do exercise in the morning. Okay. And I had to do uh, have lunch. You have you hate to make lunch to prepare the lunch to cook. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? I have to do. Um, run. I don't know. <laughs> I have to do one in the in the night. I hate to run. I hate to run at night. Okay. I hate to run. To run at night. Okay. It's funny that. No, it's okay. Yes, three. Stop three. Three things that you hate. Three things that you don't like. Okay. And you did. I hate to cook. Okay. I hate go to meetings. Okay. I hate the people meet, mess my house. For my things. <laughs> okay, yes. Don't mess with me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every, there is a, a speaker in the United States that don't mess with Texas. Okay, <laughs> yes. Don't mess with El Salvador. Okay, very good. Nice. Very good. Okay, Um. the next one is Claudia. Tell me your top three things that you hate. Hi. Hello. Um, I have to exercise. Wait, wait, wait. We have had. Alguien tiene abierto el micrófono? No. Okay. Okay, Claudia. Come. How is? I have to I have to work. I hate 
to work. I hate, I hate to work every uh, day. Uh -huh. And I hate to exercise like weekend. <laughs> okay. I hate to swim. I hate to do to swim. Swim, 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 swim. To, um, hey, to what? I hate to work on weekends. I hate to do exercise on weekends. And the last one, the number three. Yes, I hate to. Swimming, nadar. Okay, to swim. I hate to swim. Mm -hmm. Okay, to I swim. hate to swim. Yes. Okay. Uh, I hate to swim. But it's necessary, right? Okay, good. Then, uh, who else? Anybody else? Alguien más que quiera participar? Me too. Okay. Uh huh. Yes, Diego. Tell me. Tell me. Uh, in my case, I hate uh, number one, clean the house, uh, number two, uh, uh, exercise, and number three, to the, do do laundry. Do laundry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But así toca, let's say, right? <laughs> así nos toca. Do the laundry. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Diego. Okay. Anybody else? Another volunteer? Otro voluntario. One more, one more. Practice your vocabulary, don't worry. Things you say, I hate to, right? All right, the test of it. Okay. I hate to. I hate to, 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 to what? I hate to. Me, okay. teacher. Okay, Fernando, go ahead. Okay. Um... I have to wash the dishes, right? Okay. Every day. Uh, I have to drive in the traffic jam. Uh, uh -huh. Sure. And I hate to water the plants, right? Hey, I like that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. Nice. Okay, people. Good. You see, those are, you know, things to... And the problem is that sometimes it says here, we have to, okay? It's a necessity, right? It's a necessity, but you know, we don't like it. Sometimes, like you said, okay, for example, I you know I have to go to work every day. And I say, ah, I hate it, right? Because of the traffic, right? Because of the traffic, not because of the work. Uh, for example, I have to do the my laundry. I have to do my laundry. Oh, I hate it. I have to wash my car. Then I have to wash my car. Oh, I hate it. You know, I have to clean the car inside and outside. Okay, it's nice to drive. It's nice to use the car, but I hate to clean it. Okay, I don't like it. Okay, so these are, you know, with uh, obligation or necessities that we have, but we don't like it. Okay, and that is very obvious, right? For example, if you ask the teenagers, Right? They, I, they say, I have to study, right? I have to study, but they say, I hate it, okay? Uh, they don't like to study sometimes, and sometimes they do, okay? So this is what, uh, when we have the action of have something to do, but we don't like. Activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now uh, let me see, Ismail, would you please read this uh, objective here, please, if you are so kind. By the end of the class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrators how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, good. So we're going to see, and this is what I was telling you, right? Negative statements in the simple text. Positive, affirmative, or no, in negative. Okay, first listen and then 
we are going to do a practice. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E-X-E-R-C-I-S-E-D. Study. Studied. S-T-U-D-I-E-D. Stay. Stayed. S-T-A-Y-E-D. Shop. Shopped. S-H-O-P-P-E-D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start, though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right-hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense. And we can do this by simply adding ED. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past by simply adding ED. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. 
I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and co-workers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Tense. A stayed. S T. Okay, just uh, for you to. Any questions on how to form affirmative and negative statements? Is it clear? For example, this is the affirmative. This is the negative. And we're going to see this one later. Also in the interrogative. Did you study? This is the question form. Did you work today? If you see the, solo mujer después, me voy a adelantar un poquito, porque quiero que jueguen. Right? We have this one. He said, did you study? And then the answer is, yes. What? Yes, I did. Very good. Yes, I did. Negative? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, very good. No, I did not. Okay, no, I didn't. Did you work today? So we have yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. And then in the negative one, we have. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, so we are clear. Okay, that when we use, when we use, for example, affirmative, we use the verb in past tense, right? Mm -hmm. We use negative, we use didn't, but the verb in the base form, okay? Mm -hmm. And when we use the interrogative, we use did, you, and then we use the verb in the uh, base form. And the answer is yes, I did, no, I didn't. This is yes, no question. The answer is yes no. or no. no. Okay, then. And then, then, then. Entonces, teacher, con respecto a las oraciones negativas, el verbo no cambiaría. No. In the negative, neither the negative, ni in a pregunta. Okay, not negative, not in the question. Only in the present. 
in the, in the affirmative. The affirmative change. The negative, no. And in the interrogative, does not change either. Okay, so do you watch? TV. Last night. Okay. If you see here, for example, the watch, watch, and watch. Only in the affirmative, positive. Negative, no change. Watch. You, you, you didn't watch. And in this one, did you watch TV last night? So you have what? Yes? Now. Okay. Vamos a ver. Cuánto entendido. Vamos a jugar un juego. Okay, eh, los que pierdan van a traer las pupusas mañana. Okay. Así es que. Butter is fun. We, uh -huh. We're going to eat uh, online. Pup yes. Uh, uh -huh. Eat pupusas online. <laughs> yeah. Virtual, virtual pupusas, right? So then this is. Uh, Virtual, virtual food. Okay, so then uh, we have this one. Uh, for example, the name of the game is 20 questions. Yes? Uh, Okay, but you have to use only yes, no questions, like the ones that we just uh, uh, were practicing using, for example, did you, okay, did you study, did you go to work, uh, did you live, okay, so you can use any kind of, uh, any kind of verb, but what you have to discover is my new name. Okay, I have a new name. Voy a cambiar la personalidad. Okay, ahora soy un personaje famoso. Ustedes tienen que adivinarlo preguntándome preguntas del pasado. Soy del pasado. Then, pero es que todas las preguntas las van a hacer en pasado. Did you, did you, did you, did you. Okay, y yo solo voy a decir yes or no. Yes or no. And you have to associate, says, and then to associate, right? My answer to your question. Okay. And then you have 20 questions. Okay. 20 opportunities, 20 chances to discover my new name. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, ready. Yes, ready. Okay, question number one. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Uh, did you did you have a big or small family? That's not a yes no question. Esa es una pregunta. Uh -huh. de, esa es una pregunta de opción. Do you have a big nah, or small teacher. family? Do you have? Do you have a decir yes uh, or no? Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh -huh. Did you have? Repeat the question. Did you have a big, big or small no, family? Big, big family. Okay, big big family. family. Okay, okay. okay. Then did I you say, have a, a big, family? big family? No, I didn't. Then it's okay. the opposite. Okay, then it's the opposite. Okay. Okay, no, I didn't. One. 
Next. Did you born in El Salvador? Were you? Were you born? Were you born in Why El Salvador? Porque les estaba preguntando si nació. Uh -huh. Entonces no es did. No, where you born. Did you born. No, where you born. En inglés es, se usa el where. Eh, en vez del did, right? Se dice where you born. Entonces, eh, si lo traduce no tiene sentido. Y le entendería que no lo entiendo. Pero se dice where you born es como fuiste nacido. O sea, en español si lo traduce, makes no sense. Pero... Did, no sé, se hace born, porque el, eh, el presente de born es bear. Born ya está como en pasado participio. En pasado participio. Entonces, si usted dice, eh, did you born, estaría incorrecto. Right? Entonces, tendría que decir, did you bear. Pero bear tiene otro significado. Right? Pro probably, me imagino que por eso estoy usando, where you born. Ok, pero siempre en inglés. Cuando quiera saber dónde nació, where were you born? O where you born in Salvador. Ok. Then, if you say, were you born in El Salvador? I say, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Did you dance? Did you? Dance. Yes, I did. Four questions. You have four. Me, teacher. Yes, Arturo. Did you practice any sport? Uh, no, I didn't. Why? Did you lead in the US? Yes. Yes, I did, Evelyn. Did you sing it? Huh? Yes, Natalie. Yes, I did. Did you exercise? Uh, no, I didn't. I guess probably a little, but not much. Not much. Uh, teacher, did you sing a uh, rock? Rock. Or, uh -huh, rock or romantic music? Oh, well, yes. I guess, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nine question. Okay, teacher. What kind uh music uh, uh was was singer? Yes. Yes or no? Está bien la pregunta, teacher. La pregunta sí, pero no es yes, no question. ¿Quieres saber qué tipo de música? No, la question is okay. But no for this game. <laughs> no para el juego, right? Did Solo you... puedo decir yes or no. Yes, uh, Jerry. Did you are Michael Jackson? Uh, were you? Were you? Because it's in past, right? Were you oh, Michael yeah. Jackson? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, okay. No Michael Jackson. Aunque, <laughs> aunque sí me llegaba. That's good. Okay. Ya van diez. Okay, yes, listen. Sir. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Yes, Diego. Just give me a second. Uh, I was not born in, United, in El Salvador, from the United States. A singer, a small family, a dance. What else? Singer. Singer. Uh huh, singer, yes. Mm -hmm. And. Um, if I live in the United States, yes, that's it, okay? Now I start, you know, thank you. Yes, Diego, tell me. Uh, did you speak another language? Did you speak other languages? No. No, 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 I didn't. Okay, another one? It's there. Yes, Adrian. Uh, did you uh, did you have favorite song uh, in young? Did you have a favorite, a favorite song, young? A favorite song. Yes. Uh, the singer or me? 
singer. To sing your favorite song. I don't know. Yeah, probably, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Teacher, yes, it's very uh -huh. difficult. <laughs> no, no, it's very easy. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very <laughs> easy. Ya ves que todos me van a decir, ah, oh, no, fácil. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Denos una pista. Give us, give us a clue. Give us a clue. Dígalo, dígalo en inglés. Uh -huh. Give us a clue. Give us a clue, yes. Give us a clue. Ok, a clue. Oh, can I tell you a clue? What? He was, he was a man, okay? He was a man. That's a clue, okay? A singer and very, very, very famous in the history of music. Teacher, uh, did, did you... Was a uh, Juan Gabriel? Were you? No, I'm from the United States. No. Okay. <laughs> Juan, like, Juan Gabriel was good. Juan Gabriel was good, but no. yeah. Yes. Uh, no, no, I wasn't. Okay. Remember when you want to say era usted o era tú o eras? Eh, you're gonna use was or where, right? Were you? Were you a singer? Okay, did you, you, okay. Did you be in a musical group? Eh, no, 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 you did. He was a solo singer, but very, very famous. Were you Elvis Presley? It's the only question that she's asking. Es la única pregunta que ha hecho. And yes, no se vale. Okay, good. Okay, sí, sí. Como dicen, nadie sabe para quién trabaja allí. Okay, good. Yes, Mariela, that's correct. Okay, yes, Elvis Presley. Okay. How did you guess? Como adivino? I don't know. Huh? No, because I said it was I... very, very famous, right, in the history. Okay, it's probably, yeah, because um, you, you say Jackson. you... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, were... Carte. Yes, who were... Uh, who were the most in the past tense? The one that the the ones who are dead. Who were the most, uh, let's say, popular and famous singers in the world? In in English, in English, right? We have Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley. Uh, probably, if you like rock, if you like rock, maybe Jim Douglas Morrison from the Doors. Uh, well, who else can you mention as a very famous? Group or singer? Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury, yes. Yeah. No one. Excellent. I know. Excellent singer, Freddie Mercury. Okay, Led so then Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, too, right? So you can, you know, choose from this one, okay? And then you can uh, probably get the idea, okay? But you see, now you are thinking in actions that happened in the past. Okay, one more. But now, Mariela va a cambiar su nombre. Vamos a pensar ahí. Después de yes. <laughs> okay, just change your name. Okay, only change your name and then. Uh, y cuando haya escogido un, a alguien, me avisa. Ya. Ya, okay. Okay, people, attack Mariela. Questions? Were you a woman? Were you a woman? Yes. Okay. Woman. Where were you born? Were you born in? Uh, were you born in? in? United States. Okay. Were you born in? in Okay, in United States, Mexico, or <laughs> Mexico. Okay. Mexico. Were you born <laughs> in Mexico? Okay. Another one. Woman, Mexican. Did you sing? 
Did you sing? No. No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't. Uh, were you actress? Actress? No, I didn't. No, I wasn't. Uh, uh, were you an actress? No, I wasn't. No se preocupen, yo lo voy repitiendo para que después ustedes lo hagan correctamente. Okay, pero lo importante ahorita es que ustedes piensen en pasado, right? No, uh -huh. were you an actress? No, I wasn't. Uh -huh. What else? Did you are a singer? No, you didn't sing. No. <laughs> Did you are an artist? Paint. Were you a painter? Yes, I was. Okay. Frida <laughs> Kahlo. Okay, who said that? Who said Frida Kahlo? Emma, yes, who said that? Huh? Or Evelyn? Can you know? Ah, uh, no, I don't know. Can you know? Judith, I think it was Judith. Creo. Are you you did? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. good. Then you did, it's your turn. Now it's your turn. <laughs> okay, now change your name, you did. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, people, ask you did. Mariela, you asked the first question. The first question. If you were uh, an actress? Were you an actress? No. No, I didn't. No, I wasn't. What? Did you sing? Did you sing? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Did you woman? No, uh, I didn't. Were you a woman? No. No. Okay, then she's a man. Is a man. What else? Were you were you an actor? No. <laughs> no actor. You were Where a are you born in? Como? Where are you born in? In Germany. Germany. Yeah. Uh, you, quiero ver, you were a, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Hitler? <laughs> okay, very good. Yes, Germany is very clear, right? When you say that, so you can find it. Okay, good. Eh, you know, this is just, uh, this is solo para jugar, okay? que estamos viendo el tema de las negativas. But, uh, but for you to start, you know, interacting is good question, right? For example, the, the question is, did. Todas las preguntas que van con did son acciones. Okay, action. Hay algunas que no son muy acciones, como por ejemplo, did you, did you, let me see, did you have a headache? Entonces, eso es un verbo que en inglés se considera que es un non-action verb, porque no se puede ver la acción. Ok, then you say, I have a headache, pero puede ser que lo tenga y nadie lo sabe. Eh, want, querer, desear. Y puede ser que ahorita quiera agua, quiera café, pero ustedes no lo saben y no se ve. Right? So that's why those verbs se llaman non-action verbs. Pero, in general, all the action verbs are used with be. Okay. Did you go? Did you stay? Did you play? Did you work? Did you study? Did you live? Did you sing? Did you dance? All the actions. Okay? Now, but when we want to use uh, era or fuiste or eres, we want to el wa y el wer. Okay? Were you a woman? Era mujer. Were you a man? Era hombre. Were you an actress? Then you're going to use an adjective or a noun. Were you happy? 
Okay, were you happy? Uh, were you a writer? Were you a singer? They say, and the answer is yes, I was, or no, I was. Okay, were you a doctor? No, I wasn't. Were you a singer? Yes, I was. Uh, were you rich? Yes, I was. Were you famous? Yes, I was. Okay, were you po were you popular? No, I wasn't. All right. So then, this is with the verb to be and be. Okay, this is for uh, for you to remember these two options. Then, negative actions. Negative sentences. Tell me three things. Okay, one thing each. Una piensa en una oración ahorita. Le puedo dar un minuto. And todos piensen en una oración de algo que no hicieron hoy. For example, I didn't pay my credit card. I didn't. Uh, I didn't take a shower. Oh yes, I did. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't, uh, I didn't have lunch, okay? One sentence, negative. Something that you didn't do today. Okay, okay. teacher, I didn't, I didn't go to the church. Too bad, too, 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 too bad. <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> okay, good, I didn't go to church, okay, good. Uh, Mariela, then Evelyn, mm, thank you. Uh, I didn't cook my lunch for tomorrow. Oh my God, my head is a long one. You can feel my diet. Okay, <laughs> forzada, first, first diet, first diet. And Evelyn Elizabeth? I didn't cook dinner. You didn't cook dinner, that's nice. Relaxing, good to relax. Uh, did it? I didn't feed my pet. I didn't feed my pet. Oh, what a bad mother you are. Okay, poor pet. What pet is it? It's a rabbit. A rabbit? Yes. <laughs> okay, rabbits are nice, but this is nice. Adrian, sentence in past tense. Okay. Uh, I didn't watch TV. I didn't watch TV. Very good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ismael. I didn't open the mail. Very good. Excellent. Gary. I didn't have dinner at home today. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. Good. Sense. Emma. I didn't read the newspaper. Very good, excellent, Fernando. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry, okay, very good. Fernando Bermudez. Uh, I didn't exercise today. Very nice, excellent, Natalie. I didn't do my homework. I didn't do my homework, okay, very good, Diego. I didn't listen to music. Very, very nice. And Aida? I didn't wake up early. <laughs> okay, very good. And I see. I didn't walk tonight. Okay, very good. And Edwin? Hello, Erwin. Erwin, Erwin, Er calling Edwin. Okay, probably. Okay, in Claudia? Ahorita, I, did, I didn't run today. I didn't run today. Very good. Yes. Excellent, people. Okay, you see? No mistakes, very good. And everybody use different verbs, okay? So then the key, this is for example, when we're talking about the uh, actions, activities, right? That, uh, uh, for example, the, 
uh, how can I tell you this? The first base, right? Because tomorrow what we're going to do is to combine negative with affirmative sentences, right? We're gonna have, for example, uh, I didn't go to work because I went to the doctor. I didn't do the laundry because I played uh, football, okay? Then we're gonna use this combination of, I didn't do this, but I did something else, okay? Tomorrow we're going to practice the uh, affirmative and negative sentences, but using two different verbs, okay? So that would be the, so that we can practice and learn more verbs every day. Also, tomorrow we're gonna practice the question. It's, I think we're gonna, eh, lo vamos a ver después, pero quiero ya pon, empezar a que lo vean ya para practicarlo. Okay, because I see that you are advanced too. You're good, you learn fast and that is good. Okay, so then uh, whenever you have a doubt, let me know, okay? Okay, nice people. Se fue la hora, right? This time is up. Tomorrow we're gonna have another game. Uh, with verbs, and I will, I will send you also a list, le voy a enviar una lista de verbos to practice the pronunciation of the verbs in simple past, okay? So just to practice the pre-pronunciation. Okay, good. And then, 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 then just one thing, eh, Aida and Natalie, les mandé un mensaje que me mandaron. Ahí lo ven en el chat, please. Okay. Okay. All right. It's about the document. Okay, good. So then, uh, no questions for today, people? No? Everything mm. is clear? All right. Excellent. So have a very good night. God bless you. See you tomorrow, okay? okay. Thank you, Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.